are black people prone to violence? When you say violence, are you saying like violent crimes, uh, violence and fighting? Uh, are we saying unalive people, that type stuff? Or what are we saying? All of it. Fighting. All of it. We know we, we would just say, and I'll just go into this just really quick. Uh-huh. Let's see, back in the day, uh, news media covered stories different, and you will see, okay, uh, black people fighting they done shot somebody this right here so i uh, i would say in the aspect of was it perpetuated by the news media I, I, back in the oh, day so, so so i'm we, when we say the violence we talking about everything yeah yeah robbing stealing yeah and then unaliving yeah people. yeah so so all of that situation um i don't think that they are cherry picking who gets put on the pedestal when it comes to uh, letting you know who did the crime. I think okay. we're doing it. I think mm. that the black people majority are doing these violent crimes. Over, fi- over 50%, that's the majority, right? Over 50%. Now that may be black on black crime and things of that nature, but still it happens. Yes. Now, we know mass shootings and things of that happens or whatever, but overall, we're such a small population. What did you say, 12 to 13%? 12 to 13%. Of the whole population in America, but it. we're doing all the violent crimes. Why are we prone to this violence? Congregation, what y'all think about that? Do you think that black people are prone to violence? I want you to be honest. And, and we ain't got to get all ugly and nasty in the comments or whatever, but do you think that we are? Come on prone to violence meaning black people and and we're representing black people but i see what it is and i'm gonna call a spade a spade if it's happening it's happening you know what i'm saying i don't want it i don't want it to happen but it's happening and since it's happening and i want it to stop we gotta first know that we are the number one culprit that is doing Mm. this Yes. Overall. Now, like I said, yes, there's other races that are doing this. They are. You got yeah. the Asian community, you got the Hispanic community, you got the white community, whatever, right? You have these different communities that are doing different crimes, but <laughs> black folks are leading the way. They are leading the way. Black on black and others. So, I mean, come on. I think that uh black people overall are prone to violence but why do we why are they prone to violence is it the way they grew they grew up is it their mm-hmm. family or lack thereof cuz it maybe they just didn't have a family maybe they was you know mama and them grandma and them they that's who raised them and the streets raised them come on so that's the violence that you see I can care less who brought the drugs in there, but they sit there and look at the drugs and say, hey, I'm, I don't have the money. They take the drugs and turn around and sell it to their own kind. You got all this violence going on to, to even get the drugs. You see what I'm saying? Like, why are well, we well, doing this to ourselves? Kane, I can think of a, a, a slew of different uh, material that people may say. They may say, Kane, okay, uh, that's not... Uh, good uh, statistics because, okay, you put all these low income people, usually, and I've heard this, people will unalive people within their proximity where they're at. So you put in um, a lot of black people in the hood, in the projects. Who's putting them there? Well, or are they putting themselves there? Who's putting them there? Circumstances. Let's just say circumstances. I'm not saying how they got there, but they're okay. there. Okay, they're there. And then they're there. Yeah, they're there. So they're killing each other right there. Why? Okay. Why are they killing each so other? So right many there? different reasons. So I'm just trying to go against what you're saying in that aspect. I'm not saying that I'm necessarily down with it, but 
I've seen the point argued. Is it a little bit validity in that point right there? If we're all in the hood and it's bad, I see you may be coming up. That guy got a new car. How did he get a car? We finna take that car. Things like that happen all the time. And I will say this, and I will, um, now I'm talking to uh, the black people right now in this aspect. I think we've been places where, went to an event. Could be a club. It could be a, a cookout. We like to get together. Has it ever occurred in the back of your mind? I hope nobody cut up. I hope it's not an argument because we know it result in fight. And now, it's well, well, what? So, so well, let's stick with that. Point. That's a true let's thing, right there. Point. Let's say they mm -hmm. go to the club or to a, a cookout or whatever, right? Come it's on, something, yeah. something, somebody gets angry. Why yes. is it that it results to violence? They ain't got nothing to do with. They, they ain't had no money in their pocket. Is that what you're saying? Right. Just because they ain't had nope, no money in their no pocket? Money. Nope. Just because they was broke? Mm -hmm. They at this event because they can be there. They're there, right. but they still committing violence. Why is that? Okay, when you break it down, so many different reasons, but when you break it down, our people's pride this guy stepped on my shoe and now we're about to fight. And then my emotions and I underline. Where, where, where do we get that from though? Where do we get the idea that because that, somebody steps on your shoe, yes. you're ready to um, take them out? Why, why, why is that the first thing that we resort to? They ain't, does that have anything to do with because we can't pay the bills? Or no, it does our living situations? It have nothing to do with stepping on shoe. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like, why are we so prone, congregation? To I be need, hard. Congregation, I need y'all to help us out with this. One. Yes. I need y'all to chime in on this one. How do you feel about this? Prone to violence. Black people. I put us on front street. I'm black myself. Put us on front yes. street. Why are we more prone to violence? And not like I say, this is not collectively. There's a few that mess it up for all. We all we know Come that. On. We know that, right? There's a few that mess it up for all. But however, th they do so much and maybe get away with so much because of we don't we don't uh, uh turn them in. We we keep solid. We don't say anything and they continue to do this violence amongst everyone. That's how that happens. They can never find a um the suspect. You know what I mean? They can never find them because nobody wants to give them up. And they, we don't want to snitch. Yeah. Uh, well, we don't well, want to snitch. snitch remember, remember, mm -hmm. snitching is on. only if both the parties are doing dirt. Right. So if you're doing dirt and then you're talking about somebody else doing dirt and you want to turn them in, you ain't no better. So you're snitching. Mm -hmm. But the people that have nothing to do with that and don't want to be a part of that violence speak up come on speak up don't be afraid to speak up that's how i see it don't be afraid to speak up because this this thing been going on for many many years and and in and, and, and from the beginning everybody used to say it used to be the white man that used to keep us down or whatever but we're keeping ourselves down we're bringing ourselves down by going through uh, and, and doing this to ourselves. Can I bring up a point? If you take it back, way, way back. To when? Because I know you like to live in the past. Let's hear it. Uh oh. To slavery. And what does that got to do with anything? Getting beat on. Having to fight each other for, for, for sport and their pleasure. And however, having animosity. However. however it no one has transfer. No, no one has experienced this. No. You but can look around anywhere. Is. No one has. So you're saying it's genetically passed down? No. All right, well then, why are we acting like that? Psychologically. Because we, we acting like we're victims. We're not victims. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. But you have these 
um, social, social justice warriors that are out there that's claiming that we are victims and continue to claim that, that we are victims. We're not victims. Well, I, I will say this. And on and that, that happens. Day, the victim. The victim. What? Okay. You, a person can be a victim. A black person can be a victim. Of what? Different. Give me an example. Of One. racism. One. Of racism. What? Of uh, How? There's done been many cases, Kane. Now, how? I'm, 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 I need you to stay out of the past and come to the no, 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 come no, to 2024. No, 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 no
So why are we we claiming a street that we don't own? Why why is that? I'm curious. I'm curious. Like I'm just curious. Why is it that you 63rd old block, whatever, and we talk, why yeah, are we why are we claiming property that we don't own? It's, unfortunately, when will it stop? We don't know, but it's always been to that degree. I say the younger kids are now there, they they don't play around. You remember the eighties. The, was it mid 80s? The drive bys and was mostly California. They was going wild, but it was us, of course, pretty much. Yeah. What do you think that the authorities need to do about us killing each other? Kane, you know, I'm about justice, just, prosecute, just, just but but if no one's speaking about it, what do, what do they need to do? Just let them kill each other. Let let them just say it. They, no. nobody wants to give us when we do investigation. Nobody wants to talk to us. Nobody. I don't know. I ain't seen anything. I don't know. So if they they would have to go by video evidence on. That's it. Video evidence on. Because nobody wants to talk about anything. So they gotta try to convict somebody off of a video and um uh, fingerprints, and that's it. Because nobody wants to give a testimony. Nobody wants to testify. Right. Nobody's going to say, I watched him. That's such and such. I know exactly who that was or whatever. Nobody's going to do that. Well, it's in as many different reasons. Well, just a couple of them. Because you can face the consequences of saying, okay, that individual. Because we have seen cases where they got to the witness. They got to the witness family. Okay. So it takes a person that's courageous to be like, yeah. And usually the, those courageous per- people be that grandmama, that old person. Oh, they down there. Yeah, they, they they sell those drugs down there. That boy did shoot that gun. Yes. It's people like that. So so even though see this is this is the prone to violence. This is exactly what we're talking about. So if I if I seen something, mm-hmm. I don't I'm not I don't condone it. I go to testify, they're ready to come after me, and I'm black. So we're just perpetuating the same thing we've been talking. Come about. on, yes. So now they're after me because I told about them doing an evil deed. Well, well, can you ask me about this? Now I'm asking you, why do you think we're prone to violence? Because they don't have no foundation. What's your opinion? They don't have no foundation. It's easy. They don't have no foundation. They've been raised by probably their mother. Usually, majority of the uh, prisoners and those um, those are prone to violence. They just single family, single parent family. That's what it is, man. And and if you're a single parent, you can't you know take care of every little thing. You don't know what all is going on. So who raises? Maybe the neighborhood. The neighborhood yes. will raise them. They will look for. A, um a role model in the neighborhood. And that's how it, that's how it starts. So I know people don't want to talk about that because everybody's really promoting this single mom and you know uplifting her. She got it hard and this and that. But that's what's promoting and generating these thugs. That may be hard for people to hear, but it's generating them. We ain't got no uh, I mean, like I said, there are plenty. It's not the rule, you know what I mean? But there are plenty of um, situations where you have mom and dad, and then you have a a, a kid that that's that's you know doing crazy. Goes by the wayside. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. That's, that's, that's not that's it. Doesn't happen all the time. Right, right. It's right. usually single parent. And then you also have single parents that you know have these superstars that you see. These yes. movies, these uh, basketball, football, they raised them and they, they became productive citizens or whatever. It happens. Yeah, but it but what we want is the correct union and that foundation so the black community can thrive. Right. And we don't need to point fingers at anyone else but ourselves. We are holding ourselves back. Mm. Nobody wants to say this, but we are holding ourselves back. Thank you. 
Why, if you think, if you're going to go to the Mitch route and say, well, they enslaved us and this and that or whatever, why would you go back to the person that did you wrong to uh, fix their action? Well, how about you just separate yourself for the people that did you wrong, quote unquote, did you wrong and, and do it for yourselves? Why you want to sit there and, and wait for a handout? And I have to say, that's not the Mitch route. Okay. I was, that was a talking point. Right there, okay. <laughs> Don't, I don't, hey, we're not going to delete that, but that's not a miss route, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I Let get it, it I get known. it, I get it. But, okay. I'm, but I'm saying, like, you know, folks, we need to point the finger right at ourselves. We're yes, doing that. We're having the uh, babies out of wedlock. Like, we're the, the rate of the, the divorce rate is ridiculous on the black side. Yes, that's what it yes, is. Yes, the divorce rate the, versus the marriage rate. Divorce is higher than the marriage. Thank you. That's what, yes, yes. it is. So we ain't even staying yeah. together. Why is that? You don't hear this in any other community but ours. And Our why is that? Why is that? Yeah. All this independence. And we do all our own thing. And the first thing that people will say is, well, we just never stick together. Why don't we stick together? Why don't we stick together? Why don't we trust one another? Why, why, when we go to a function, just like you said, and we got to keep our head on the swivel because you just never know, a fight to start out. Because when the last time you've been to a, uh all predominantly white club or establishment and there was a shooting? <laughs> Three but, days ago. But, but, <laughs> But you would always hear there's a shooting at a strip club, black, a predominantly black strip club, or a a, um, a regular club in the parking lot, whatever. First thing black folks do, go get a gun. You got a disagreement? That, yeah, I know at the white establishment, yeah, they have the bar fights. They have all that, yes. But it's a fight, and they break it up, whatever, they get mad, they move on. But they ain't shooting up the place like we do. Even at the Martin Luther King Festival or something, something crazy yeah. will break out yeah. and it's gunplay. Yeah. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I, I get it. There's a misunderstanding, but why, why people have to uh, die for it. Right. But we do it to ourselves. We make other, other races scared of us because of our actions. And they just all that you know, you know, they just discriminate and they just say all black people that way, or they just right. stereotype like, hey, all those people that way because I see it so much. I've seen it personally. It doesn't take the media to let me know because I see it. I see what yes. they're doing. So yes. come on now. We got to be better for ourselves in order to be better to remove that stereotype. But it's it's hard when we don't have a foundation in the family. It's very hard. And and congregation, put in the comments what if you agree with uh, this topic, and then put in the comments what are your suggestions? What can be done? Yeah. Is it the foundation, as Cain said? Yeah. Let us know. Or, or is it just like you know how in El Salvador they just locked up everybody? It's like, hey. hey, look, in El Salvador, it's just locked up everybody so that you can walk and do whatever you want to do. But then they would think that it's um, profiling. They were like, oh, you're getting more black people. Then. Well, I mean, we, we're, you know, we're trying to get the crime under control. So, you know, but yeah, in El Salvador, yeah, you, you check, just check out how that president or whatever changed things around there. And now it's, 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 it's cool down there. But compared to all those MS-13 and all this other stuff that was going on down there, yeah, they just locked up hundreds of thousands of, you know, people or whatever, just because it was associated, whatever. And now it's, you know, you it's, it's fine. You can go down there and have a vacation or whatever, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's I, crazy. I, I, but I yeah, know. but that would be so unethical on our end if we were to do the same thing. Even though they right. would well, say the crime, the criminals, bill, yes, say the crime the bill helped that out, and it did, it did. Even though you know nobody really liked it, but it got a lot of the, you know, from being in Little Rock and those drive-by shoes and and Bloods and Crips and all that other stuff that was happening, that got a lot of that off the street, man. You go back now, mm. it, it's 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 totally different compared to 
what it used to be in the 90s. Same thing when in California where I used to be so crazy with the gangs and they just locked everybody up. Three strikes type thing. You know what I'm saying? They just locked yeah. everybody up. Three strikes. You know, and then a lot of some of that was corrupt. I get it. Some of them, they were planting stuff on them or whatever. But, you know, maybe that was karma for them. They shouldn't have been in that lifestyle. Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't Man. know, Kate, on that now, one. But... So, so you're saying some innocent people that never did anything are locked up because of the three strikes. That'll be far fetched because it's three strikes. Yeah. Everything couldn't have been a plan. Yeah, yeah. And now they want to release. You was in that environment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now they want to release all the people that had marijuana uh convictions and stuff like that. They pardoning them and things of that nature. How y'all feel about that? I mean, I know it's being legal in certain areas in certain states, but what what do y'all think about that too? Marijuana. It's gonna be a lot of people that's been some of them been locked up. A long time. Multiple years. Yeah, yeah. And what are they going to do yeah. uh, when they get out? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, so uh, that's a that's a good, interesting topic. Yeah, yeah. We might have to save that one, table that. For sure, for sure, for sure. Let yeah, us yeah, know. Yeah. Let us know in the comments, man. Um, you know, give us a thumbs up algorithm let us know man for sure we uh, we gonna do some we gonna we're gonna pick up the lives we're gonna we're gonna do some lives and stuff like that so we can get you guys to entertain and and enjoy the show and join the conversation yeah. too as well so we definitely gonna do that but um i thank you we thank you all for everything and that's the uncomfortable truth hey let's go do something <laughs> bye bye for sure You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 